name is John Humphreys and I'm the organizer for the Connecticut Roundtable on Climate and Jobs. And we are allied with the Labor Network for Sustainability. Our mission is to bring together labor, religious, and environmental folks around uh, policies that will both create uh, good jobs and protect the climate. Well, what we've found in Connecticut is that uh, labor is really open to working on these issues and that uh, there's a real awakening, I think, within the labor movement about how climate issues uh, are a uh, worker concern and are, uh, is a, an issue for labor. And having labor at the table uh, has really made a difference in our work in Connecticut that uh, bringing labor voices into the movement uh, to combat climate change really changes the conversation. Climate protection jobs and jobs in clean energy certainly are among and can be good paying jobs and unionized jobs and that's what we're working uh, toward and also we are working right now on beefing up the program in Connecticut that uh, does energy efficiency in public facilities, public buildings. And those uh, can be project labor agreements. They are also uh, pre prevailing wage jobs. So certainly a growing number of the clean energy jobs uh, are good union jobs. So the Connecticut Roundtable on Climate and Jobs collaborated with Labor Network for Sustainability a couple of years ago in doing a uh, pro climate protection job study that showed that in Connecticut, uh, like nationally, we can meet our climate goals, save consumers money on heating, electricity, and transportation, and at the same time have a net increase in the number of jobs created. And that those are largely manufacturing and construction jobs, which are good paying jobs. Climate protection provides a wonderful opportunity for labor really to uh, step up and uh, help create good work jobs for working people uh, in clean energy and energy efficiency and uh, transportation. And so there is a tremendous opportunity for labor in the climate protection.